Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammar School. Due to some common shape filing mistakes, nails often end up lifted. In today's video, I will share with you proper filing techniques to avoid that. I will also show you new cool reflective gel polishes with various effects. Watch till the end and let's get right into it. Here are today's nails. They seem fine on this side, but if we take a closer look, we will see that some of the nails look lifted. Especially thumbnails. And all due to filing mistakes. I will do a correction here. Well, I could have removed the coating and do a new one, but I need to strengthen them. And it actually makes fixing the growth pattern harder because there is a couple of nuances regarding a layout. But let's see what we can do. While removing, I decided to measure the thickness. And some tips happen to be up to 2 mm thick. And that's a lot. Normally, the fridge should be about 1 mm thick. That's just right for it to last. There is no need to make it thicker, because then it will get too heavy and the coating may peel off there. There are white areas on the tip here, leftovers of the previous base coat. This indicates that the nail tech who did this coating did not remove the base coat completely, just covered it up with another layer, making it thicker. So using a camouflage base coat, make sure to keep only a thin layer left or apply a thin layer of a clear one first and keep it then. Moving on to a manicure. I push the cuticle with an orange stick and polish the nail surface. My model hasn't got much cuticle, so I will be doing an e-file manicure. To avoid getting lifted nails, make sure to remove as much material on the free edge as possible. Keep none or just a thin layer left. The main volume will be near the cuticle. This will help to make the nail last lifted visually. Though there is not too much skin here, it is rather dry. So to lift up the cuticle and clean up the pterygium, I'm using a blue flame drill bit. The skin is super ruffled on the index finger. Again, due to previous manicure mistakes. And what's more, the model continued picking the skin, lifting it up even more. The manicure is not just about a nail. It includes the skin around it as well. Looking at this skin, it's hard to tell that this manicure is only 10 days old. To polish the cuticle, I'm using the red sphere drill bit. It nicely removes all the tiny hangnails, including the ones on the index nail. Keep it slow, so as not to burn the skin. In case there are tiny hangnails left, carefully touch them up with a cutting tool. Here are some skin leftovers in the sinuses. The previous tag probably did not clean them up well. So, as you can see, there's lots of pterygium. I decrease the nail plate and, for better bonding, I apply an acid-free primer all over the nail plate. Because I have removed the base coat almost up to the natural nail. I will be using this rubber base coat first. It will provide perfect bonding with the next layer. So that's our base. Just a thin layer will do. Now I will be strengthening the nails using this camouflage bottle gel. The index nail is a bit twisted and that's a common practice. So first I build up the missing side so that I could fix its shape with filing later. Cure it in the lamp and strengthen it with another layer. I love this bottle gels. We're basically using the same technique here. Aligning the nail plate from the cuticle to the free edge. The material spreads out super quickly because it's liquid. I have tilted the finger down, so the gel is flowing onto the free edge. Now I turn it over 
and pull the gel towards the apex. Now I send it to cure and move on to filing. So what's the technique? First, form a sharp tip from the top view. Then put the file under the nail plate to file the lower parallels. And next, smooth out all the overlays if there is any. The free edge should not be too massive. Now we can see some excess thickness and darkened nail part. So let's clean it up using a carbide drill bit. Just gently clean up the dirt. Next up is a coating. And here are promised new reflective gel polishes by Rue Nails. I was pleasantly surprised with these. Apparently, they are not just regular reflective gel polishes, but magnetic and metallic ones as well, prismatic, and so on. Well, that means that this trend is still with us. These four colors are magnetic, and these two have got Yuki flakes in them. Look how beautiful these are in the dark. That is our color pick for today. Matching the dress my model is going to wear on her friend's wedding. This gel polish is pretty liquid, so I apply a thin layer first, using the brush it comes with to paint the cuticle zone. Then I add more gel polish for density. Next, I apply a magnet to form a highlight. It's gorgeous, just like starry sky. These tiny twinkling particles look just like stars, in my humble opinion. Please share your associations in the comments. Overall, these polishes are nice to work with. The brush is super soft and fluffy, so it opens up really well. Just mind its amount to avoid pulling. We thought that something was missing here. So we added some stamping nail art in black. And now this nail art looks complete. We can see the glitter shining through the pattern. And now let's finish it off with a top coat. I'm using a tacky one to make sure that this stamping lasts. Now I just need to remove paint leftovers with some acetone. For how long do you think reflective gel polishes will be trending? Give this video a big thumbs up and check out my other videos on transforming lifted nails. I wish you all success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.